Hello, in this video we will present sample simulation and integration of system architecture and multi-physics simulation SysML and Modelica. It will be introductional uh, demonstration, very straightforward uh, sample available as part of this presentation. So first of all, let's go to the couple of slides to create the content context for that sample and then we'll go to the demo so we'll talk about uh, better system engineering to enable a better way of engineering systems and we align system modeling and uh, system simulation in higher fidelity models uh, than uh, just uh, generic language for system architecture but for the specifics of the electrical hydraulical thermal and other type of the design discipline simulation and analysis so when we talk about models integration first of all what are the types of models we talk about so here we have uh, system architecture models and those are quite different than analytical models so when we talk about system architecture models they are like requirements for the system emphasize how pieces fit together into consistent whole like interfaces right is, they capture relations between components they capture functions behavior structure they capture also um, parameters but not for the analysis uh, purpose, but for the requirements purpose. When we talk about analytical models, they emphasize specific aspect of performance consistent with the architectural model. They are mathematically based to compute or simulate to reduce risk. And uh, in many cases, they are the ones who are tightly integrate with the system architecture because they get the characteristics of the system, which will be simulated uh, in context of specific analysis and will provide architecture back uh, performance characteristics of that architecture. That's how we can do trade studies and uh, virtual verification. And it's all above system engineering because it's all to design, to apply system engineering, to design and enable better way of engineering systems. Now let's go to our sample we are presenting today. So problem is that designing modern systems as drones to reduce system complexity. And in many cases we see the complexity because of the number of variations and uh, unpredictable outcomes. Uh, of the functionality of the system due to software and uh, electrical and other type of disciplines. And traditional document-based system engineering approach does not give right model validation, integration and performance. Goal is to capture system alternative uh, architectures in system architectural definition language like SysML. Uh, in our case, inputs are number of battery cells, number of propellers, total weight, fuel weight, and uh, we want to optimize on flight time, takeoff weight, payload cost. Uh, we want to pick the optimal architecture from the available ones. Solution would be uh, to apply modern model-based system engineering MBSC approach, extending beyond document-based approach, applying model system engineering methods like Magic Grid, language like SystemL, and uh, tools like ATIA Magic. Model-based methods enables integration with high-fidelity multi-physics analysis tools like Dimola, uh, leading in this industry for hydrogen and avionics models in Modelica to be integrated with architecture to perform trade studies, uh, virtual VNV, change impact analysis, what-if analysis, and so on. Now, from system architecture side, uh, what do we do? We capture user needs for system in, uh, in the context uh, to understand what actually is needed to be able to validate later on. Uh, is this right system, right? So user needs are the key thing to do. And then we follow system engineering method to transition from uh, user needs to functional analysis, logical architecture, to system requirements and to optimal solution architecture. For that, we capture 
alternative architectures in uh, system L and then we pick the best one based on the identified criteria uh, from coming from user needs and then we perform uh, requirements V and B if we have uh, analytical models attached we can do that uh, virtually uh, as we can see today we can do change impact analysis if we have virtual models uh, of the system we can do it quickly and we also do configuration management because we de develop system and we need to know on which baseline we actually performing analysis of the models and uh, of the system and here we have here uh, configurations based on the same uh, system architecture in the top you see here alternatives for example for fuel cells and for tanks small tank large tank medium tank for the drone and there are requirements with the limitations for the payload uh, airframe and uh, uh, performance endurance and uh, that's also we can see here those configurations based on those alternatives are captured as instances and we can see also requirements verification based on that now let's go to the sample here we have this model architecture and as you can see here in this architecture we can uh, see that uh, the alternatives alternatives are for the fuel cell and we capture those fuel cell uh, power depending on what type of fuel cell and then also here tank alternatives also other hook of, uh, parameters like number of motors is here also airframe um, weight and other characteristics okay and then we, we capture here alternative architectures uh, so for example here we can create uh, instances like uh, of the whole system right uh, and then we can uh, say okay from the fuel cell which one do you want uh, i can pick uh, one i can remove it add and can pick fuel cell x or y so if i say uh, uh, x it adds the power of that x and then here for example for the tank I can also select one and I will remove one and then if I choose I can pick a small for example medium or large tank as you can see here configurations uh, are easy to manage I will remove that and will add medium tank easy to manage also I can specify other characteristics like number of motors like a weight of the fuel and then I can uh, use this uh, view to evaluate uh, my architectures based on criteria and those criteria uh, are coming from the top from the user needs because the, the needs of payload they are needs on total weight and their needs on the endurance which came as requirements and now we want to optimize on the best ones for the architecture selected but uh, also, if we want to get uh, precise results, we want to integrate with the physical models and we see how easy it is to do it. Uh, let's go back to the slides. So when we talk about uh, multi-physics models for performance analysis, the MOLA stands uh, here because this is the commercial stable and reliable uh, simulation engine, powerful simulation engine for the Modelica language, which is for multi-physics analysis. Uh, it's a leading uh, solution from DESO systems uh, for the uh, avionics, hydrogen, uh, EV batteries, uh, uh, autonomous and other type of the analysis. Uh, you can find number of batteries, uh, number of libraries available from partners and directly from DESO and third party ones, uh, commercial uh, and also open source from Modelica Consortium. Also different types of the dedicated roles for different users. And here you can see that um, uh, we have also 3D visualization when we perform analysis and uh, there are open standards uh, for integration which we will leverage as the direct uh, for simulation uh, and uh, simulation uh, uh, evaluation interface uh, out of the box available for the Daimola to run models from the uh, interface of Daimola, which we will leverage from SysML. 
One thing to mention that the models, uh, mathematical models in the model, they are acausal, so we can uh, find the results not only from the direct definition of the inputs, but also when we have a result, we can find inputs as a result of this acausal analysis which is not common in uh, analytical tools, some, some don't support that. Uh, now, when we talk about integration process, uh, so this is uh, uh, quite straightforward. Uh, who knows uh, Katia magic, they might know that we have integration with the Demola for some time. It's used as evaluation engine for the selected uh, languages, the MOLA, then we run it, uh, the models and the simulation will be executed in DIMOLA. And the process would be like uh, to uh, define system architecture, to specify analysis context, to integrate with the DIMOLA model, which is already available or build it, and then the capture results uh, uh, from the multiple architectures coming uh, uh, as inputs to the Daimola analysis and getting back with performance characteristics. And what we can do with that, definitely we can do uh, automated trait studies with the high fidelity uh, multiphysics analysis in the loop, uh, requirements validation and verification virtual, change impact, uh, optimization, another type of analysis. Let's see how that works. So let's go back. As you can see here, we have a system uh, uh, model with, again, alternatives and requirements. And now, uh, when it goes to the analysis context uh, here, so here we have this uh, drone performance analysis. In that analysis context, uh, we define a parametric diagram where we say, okay, from the whole drone model, what parameters do we care about? Those will be parameters as inputs and outputs as results from the analysis. Then uh, what we want to do, we want to call the MOLA model. Here we have activity diagram, which calls the MOLA model through command line and get results, which comes as array. And then we assign the properties, to those as result properties, payload endurance, net config payload and uh, also is successful property just to see the result was received. Uh, let, uh, let's keep it uh, for now as this, but we will dive deeper in the next um, moment into how this format looks like to call the MOLA model. Okay. And then we execute simulation, we create simulation config, which executes instance table with all the different configurations. And those configurations, as you can see here, we already discussed that. And here we can delete results. We can also set that uh, perform that uh, is uh, successful is false in order to see that actually inputs are received correctly. And then we run the simulation. When we run simulation, you will see that uh, all the configurations one by one are sent to Daimola and you see my uh, uh, math engine is starting and you see here that uh, first configuration gets the inputs and then results will be sent back and then here we take first, second and third uh, output of the results and input to those properties and is successful also came back and then we input another configuration and then one by one we get them back as you can see here based on those characteristics of the selected architecture so very straightforward very easy method um, uh, does not require overhead uh, and will cover also how specifically you can do it for any sample Okay, so now we see that endurance is uh, satisfied uh, uh, with all the configurations. Here we have payload uh, uh, satisfied uh, with most of them except this one. And then also for the total weight, those two are not satisfying requirements. Okay, let's go back. So f we follow this method. And now in the details, so first of all, you need to uh, 
integrate with Daimola as evaluation engine through the two integrations. Let's see how that looks like. Tools, integrations, and pick them all installation location. Then uh, next, uh, you need to call specific sample in the MOLA and get whatever you are simulating and get inputs and outputs. So let's see how that looks like. If you'll go to the main view here, I have this place where we call that model. And that's really actually straightforward. The only place we call it here, here you see, we get uh, output as results and uh, is success. The inputs are received by name and we could even get outputs by name. I think uh, here we see body and language of this opaque behavior and we see languages the molar and here specifically what we have here this is the standard uh, uh, api call for the molar uh, this is successful and results are outputs simulate extended model is the function which we call and then here is the name of the sample which we call in the molar this is the stop time this is number of intervals as you can see zero stop interval each interval is 0 0.1 initial names so those are inputs names of input parameters as you can see that would be read by name uh, and uh, uh, those are the names actually in the MOLA model drone system analysis number of motors drone system analysis dot fuel cell drone system analysis dot body structure weight drone system analysis tank weight drone system analysis hydrogen weight and then initial values those are the parameter property value the names of the CSML which comes in number of motors you see in the same order and the names are the uh, value property names from here fuel cell p max body structure weight and weight hydrogen weight and then uh, final names those are outputs the results how we get them again you could those are listing uh, here you see uh, listing uh, uh, Daimola sam model names drone system analysis dot payload drone system analysis dot endurance drone system analysis net configuration and they will be received as results as output they will be properties received as an output here we will get them and then we can take whatever uh, uh, from that array which we received first second or third or more that's how it works and pretty much in the MOLA, this model we can run the MOLA and see how that model looks like here we see in the MOLA this model first of all uh, drone we have here uh, inputs so we can see what are the inputs drone system analysis dot inputs coming here and then uh, also we have uh, outputs uh, and uh, outputs are you see endurance payload net confirm config payload uh, coming from this model there are much more advanced models uh, you can find them here under the demos uh, avionics demos uh, they're pretty much uh, advanced um, then uh, the simulation of the mission when the drone flies uh, with different configurations like vertically and horizontally with the engines uh, and then also avionics uh, flight uh, simulation uh, with the uh, 3d uh, integrations and so you can check those samples and libraries uh, and uh, that's that's the power of this uh, tool and then power of integration that we have both of the best of the both worlds so we have uh, system descriptive architecture and sysml combined with simulation analysis models in modelica demola allows to make use of both worlds demola high fidelity multiphysics models and libraries for early stage rapid analysis street studies a change impact requirements VNV to prevent uh, undiscovered risk and costly rework from the beginning of the project and system simulation is executed based on right and latest architecture decision 
integrated workflow enables consistency, correctness, and confidence in digital thread between system architecture analysis and design. Uh, here are multiple uh, simulation demonstrations of different integration methods. And for example, first one is reviewing the uh, open standards of SysML and Modelica integration across different integrations like strategic uh, approach. But this video was like intro to all of that and you can take and use the sample out of the box which will work for you and will provide uh, right uh, major integration point for any project you will have and this presentation was in context of the digital engineering where we have uh, largest mbsc based ecosystem in the industry for the multiple system engineering tasks like project management verification and validation and multiple integrations with the tools like hundreds of them through integrators and directly and through the system engineering uh, engineering and business platform 3d experience which allows to configure manage models uh, do the uh, digital continuity tra traceability and that gives a lot of uh, benefit then we don't need to manage those models separately and uh, solve all the integrations point to point so thank you for your attention and um, uh, let us know if you have any questions.